Well, it's an absolutely beautiful morning. Okay, you guys, welcome back, welcome back. Um, I'm almost to my pickup, Key West. It's just, it's been a beautiful drive. I've never gone south of I-10 in Florida. So it has really been um, very nice and see you know what I can see from the highway um, I have not had any time so I haven't really stopped anywhere I would love to grab some Cuban food Oye, chico! but um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time and now I'm gonna go pick up this giant monster boat you guys so who knows you know what what's gonna happen the boat does pay really nicely but I gotta get myself over there I gotta get it loaded and um, hopefully it's roadworthy because this one is not brand new and this one's going pretty far so I'm praying for um, good tires and grease bearings and you know all that stuff hopefully the only thing I have to deal with is a low tire and hopefully all the, the lights work and the brakes work I'm, I'm just praying that I don't have any issues um, but the boat came out of the water yesterday and the marina loaded it onto the trailer and I doubt that they check or care about any of that stuff so who knows right who freaking knows big shout out to my buddy Dwayne right Dwayne um, lives here in Florida and I told him I was like I'm going all the way down to Key West I was like I don't even know where that is but I think that's like the most southern point of freaking Florida and he's like yeah it is and he gave me a couple pointers which I will give to you guys because this is all new area for me you better make sure you have enough fuel before you start getting into real south Florida because uh, the fuel, the diesel is very high down there. So, and, and he was right, he was right. So I fueled for 3.39 yesterday afternoon and um, I'm sure that it's plenty to get me back up into central or northern Florida. Other thing was, he said, you know, that's a really um, far drive and he warned me about the speed limit. So right now I'm, I'm on the one and going over all these bridges, right? And the water, it's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. But um, the speed limit, you guys, oh my God, this drive is just, it's so tedious uh, because the speed limit ranges between 35 and 55. Um, generally speaking, it's 45 uh, for hours and hours and hundred, like, I don't know, 200 miles or something. So it's just a really makes for a long drive. There's nothing but boats everywhere, nothing but clear skies and beautiful, beautiful views of the, uh, of the water. Let's go get this big old monster boat. Let's see what I've gotten myself into and you guys keep your fingers crossed for me that it's freaking roadworthy and we can just turn and burn. Cool shit, check it out. Well, I'm gonna do a bunch of walking around and everything. This is so freaking, God, it's cool. Look at that guy, look at that guy, what he's doing. Super cool. All right, well, I'm gonna Addiction. Oh, addiction. Okay, well, Tom and Hank off the hook. Oh, cool. Okay, well, there's a, they got an Instagram. Insta. I don't have that yet. I'm not cool. I know. But, uh, ooh, let me look at these tires. Hmm. Let me look at these. Let's look at these tires together. Oh, no, it's just dirt. Oh, okay. No, we got super tread. I was looking at, yeah. Okay, we're cool. But still, I gotta go grab a moving blanket, climb under this fucking thing, make sure everything is secured. What's that? Nothing. Cat poop. I don't know. Mini shrimp. I don't know. So let me run through this thing. Looks like it's been greased recently. Yeah, we look like we got greased. Let me run through this thing, you guys, but this is cool. God, she's a big old beast. Hey, when I get transportation rich, being here reminds me of Papa P. Um, I love you, Papa P. You're the best. Um, he's uh, Mr. Primo, my mentor. He's uh, he's somebody I used to dispatch like 10 years ago, and we've just kind of remained friends. He moved from SoCal to uh, Arizona, but he docks his boat in Long Beach in Southern California. So all he does is run his dry van back and forth from Arizona to Southern California to visit his boat, <laughs> visit his family, and being here reminds me of uh, all those videos that I put up on the other channel on Natalie's uh, ranch adventure. Um, of me like, you know, manning and, and captaining his sailboat and stuff like that. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. The water is definitely a lot of fun. But I am not transportation rich yet, so I'm just going to haul the boats. All right, picking up the big old beautiful 2007 Sundancer 280. It's a gorgeous boat. It's got 14 ply tires. They look to be almost new. It looks like the hubs or the bearings have recently been greased, but I'm going to do that anyways in a second. I hooked up to the trailer, you guys and I pulled the emergency breakaway cable, which is right here. And I went to go stand next to the axles and I, I didn't hear anything. So then I went into the cab of the truck 
and um, I did a pull test. I initiated my um, trainer brakes and nothing happened. And so, and then I did the pull test and the emergency breakaway was not working. Then I initiated the brakes and uh, no brakes. So now that tells me, I haven't checked the lights yet, but I checked the axles, they look to be good. I'm gonna check the suspension in a second, but I didn't have any brakes, right? So I come here where it says brake right, brake fluid only, and I open this up. It's bone dry, okay? So first we need dot three. That may be a reason why I have no brakes. And then I opened up the emergency battery box, right? Open that up. Look at that. Look at that blue wire. Hmm, maybe that's why it's not working. So I'm gonna connect that. So I just pulled the pin, right? I pulled the pin out of the breakaway cable. You guys hear that? I can feel the vibration and I can hear that the hydraulic brakes want to work. Of course, they're probably not gonna work because they're bone dry. Yeah, I just turned on my lights, you guys, and then the, the uh, marker lights didn't come on and I'm like, fuck, you know? No, I wiggled the pigtail a little bit, okay, push the wires and then boom, I've got running lights. So let's go around to the other side. And then I put my left blinker on so we can check everything at once. Boom, we have a left blinker, right? Running light, running light, running light, operational, operational. Ah, okay, we've got running light. All right, we got, we got the right hand, so that's good. Now I just put on my four ways, so let's see if those are working. 14 ply tires, right? Very good, but they're all low. They're all in the 60 PSI range. They should be around 100. Cold, they should be 110, but I'll just, uh, I'll put them to 100. They don't have dot three. Everybody can yell at me now. Um, this is the white truck, <laughs> so um, I have dot three in the gray truck because uh, the gray truck goes with the PJ with the hydraulic brakes, but I don't have dot three brake fluid here, so I'm gonna go in that shop. But yes, I have emergency flashes, which means I got I got brakes too. Um, I'm gonna go in this shop and see if they got some D dot three for me. If they don't, then I'll go to the nearest gas station or whatever. But I do have brakes. Um, I have brakes as far as my truck says I have brakes and the brakes are initiating here. I just bet you I gotta put some fluid in there and then they'll they'll work. So this is a good sign. So that's a proper, you guys. Super, super, super proper. You make sure everything is secured. You make sure this is closed down, right? Everything is secured here at your attachment points. You make sure your, your spare tire is secured. Everything is closed and locked into place. Check all your suspension, all your leaf springs, your bolts, your wet bolts, all that shit. You check all your lights. You check these straps in the back. This is a boat, so of course you check the straps in the back. Check that everything up top is secured. It's actually been covered, so that's nice. Very, very, very nice for me. Check all of our bolts down here. See, all right? And this is how I kind of cheat and check <laughs> if I don't want to climb under it. And I just use my phone and cheat. See that? Looks good. Let's go fix these brakes. Now this is the big old bridge that everybody told me about. Very cool, little islands everywhere, people fishing, kayaking, just beautiful, real pretty water. Very cool, just really long, spotty reception. I can't make no calls, can't do shit. So I'm just kind of enjoying the uh, enjoying the view. Sure is pretty. Nice, nice weather. Well, not a lot exciting has happened today. It's just been a driving day. I'm just getting into Petersburg, uh, Virginia. Just getting into Petersburg, and I just got the uh, notification on the phone that says severe thunderstorms. And I'm just hitting some rain, so very exciting. Uh, I'm about 90 miles from my hotel for the night. Uh, I will have good solid at least six hour, seven hour maybe drive. Tomorrow, depending on traffic, I'm going to go through D.C., Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia, and it's going to be probably a nightmare. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Maybe a seven-hour drive, maybe more. Who knows? But uh, for today, I'm just going to get to the hotel and worry about that tomorrow. Get this dropped off. It's hard already. I thought I was going to be gone for two, maybe three days, and it's turning into seven. So... Yeah, I was not planning on staying this long. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It's 4.30 in the morning, right? I have not had my coffee yet, but I, I'm a pretty chipper morning person. You guys know that. So uh, we're going to go grab coffee in a minute. I'm doing my pre-trip. I'm 273 miles. We're about to bump this one off. I'm in Fredericksburg, Virginia, you guys, and uh, we're going to New Jersey. So 
We're gonna bump this one off in less than 300 miles. I'm giving myself plenty of wiggle room because I gotta go through all those shit cities like I told you guys yesterday. And um, it's Friday, so it's probably gonna be shit, 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 shit. And um, I did get the other boat, so I, we have another boat uh, picking up tomorrow out of Massachusetts, you guys. And I'll tell you guys more about that later, but um, everybody say goodbye to the addiction. Goodbye, addiction. We love you. You were wonderful. <laughs> it's a beautiful boat. Beautiful, beautiful boat. So I hope, uh, hope the customer's happy, and um, let's get down the road. Let's chew up these fun finish chewing up these miles and make our little bit of money here and uh, get on to the next one. Well, right. Um, I spent the last four hours. Look at that. I think it's New York. I don't know. Um, big cities. Big, big cities. I cruised through all of them. Yeah, I spent the last, oh, you know, four hours in heavy traffic. And I'm finally here. We need to just find out what spot to drop this sucker off at. And we'll get her done. She fared the trip very nicely. And then I did get that next boat coming out of Massachusetts. So I'm in Jersey. And I'm going to bop up to Massachusetts tonight. Pick up the next one tomorrow and uh, hopefully drop it Sunday. All right, I'm still here with all the boats. I just had to kind of get out of the way. Um, really, really cool. They're they're setting up, they're doing all this. The guy was kind of like, I don't know, stressed out, whatever, long story. Kind of snapped at me on the phone and I kind of snapped back. So I'm like, no, I'm coming in. You better make room for this boat. I'm coming, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but they're, they're receiving a bunch of um, truckloads of stuff here because in the bay or whatever it's called is, uh, they're doing a whole sailboat excursion in a couple weeks, a whole sailboat thing. He said, look up sailboats GS or some, I don't know what the hell he said. Anyways, I'm still here, whatever. He was real nice once I got here, right? Of course. Um, and let's take a look at some mileage, right? 10.2, so 10 miles to the gallon, uh, just under 1,500 miles. And, uh, but I did deadhead quite a bit to get, to get the boat. 43, $4,300 on the rate and I'm gonna deadhead again, 250 miles to Massachusetts. Uh, six hours of traffic to get 250 miles, so that's gonna be a lot of fun for me. Hi, hi you guys! <laughs> um, I'm gonna catch up on some paperwork, get over there. It's uh, 12.30 right now, so it's real, you know, real easy time. I'll get up there about 6.30, you know, seven, uh, early, an early evening for me, and uh, do some paperwork, and then I'm gonna pick this next boat up tomorrow morning, and which is Saturday, and I get to drop it off on Sunday in Virginia. I only expect it to be out for one boat. And then one boat led to two boats and then two boats led to three boats. And then he was like, well, if you go from Northern Florida down to Southern Florida, you can get this third boat, which is the one I just dropped off. And then, uh, you know, on my way up here to drop off the third boat, he's like, I got another boat for you. I'm gonna try and get it ready in time so you can grab it and run. And I'm like, I'm very grateful, right? Um, my new bestie, my new bestie, Kyle. Big shout out to you, Kyle, if you're watching. Um, yeah, you know, so I was only expecting to do one and I got to do four, uh, which is good for the revenue. Um, but I did not pack appropriately. I did not pack appropriately, you guys, uh, for a week trip. I, I really only packed for, well, three days, four days. Um, and then I was packing and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna grab three pairs of shorts. And there was like four or five shirts in my in my back, in my backpack already, you know? And, I, and then something told me like, just grab those couple stretchy pants right there <laughs> and throw them in your backpack. And that's what I did because I'm on my last day of shorts now and I still got, it's Friday, so I'll be home Monday. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I am grateful that one led into four. I'm ready to go home. I'm, I'm ready to go home. You guys know me. Um, I keep it together, you know, with everybody on the road. Jason was off for a week, so that was kind of easy. Um, and um, Eddie and Jesse were pre-planned, so that was pretty easy. You know, I got Jefferson to, everybody's been kind of, everybody's, everybody's taken care of. So nobody was running completely full-time this week, except for Jefferson. So, um, I was, you know, I was able to keep up with everything pretty good, but, um, next week, everybody's going to be full-time. So, well, I, Darren's taking half the week. Um, but, uh, er, everybody else is going to be full-time. So I got to get home so that I can, you know, pay attention to everybody and take care of everybody and you guys take care of yourselves. And, um, I'll show you the next boat tomorrow.